Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jessica Moore. That gunfire erupted in the middle of the day at Tompkins Square Park in the East Village. And residents say the violence leaves them feeling uneasy. CBS 2's Alicia Reed is in the village tonight with the latest on the investigation. Jessica, the NYPD says those victims were innocent bystanders that happened to be in the park at the time those shots were fired. Right now, officers are on high alert. Law enforcement officers patrolling Tompkins Square Park on foot and in cruisers after a shooting in the middle of the day sent two people to the hospital. Wow, that is really scary. It happened near the playground on a day where lots of people were outside enjoying the weather. Police say the gunman was being harassed by a number of people when he pulled out a firearm and started shooting. Well, this is not something you want to hear. We're just walking through the park trying to have a nice day. Five shots rang out, hitting a 26-year-old man in the buttocks and a 53-year-old woman in the hip. It feels like these kind of things happen a lot more often than they used to, especially with what happened on the train a couple days ago. Even on the subway, I take it every day. You just never know, so it is scary. Public safety top of mind after Thursday's shooting on a train in Brooklyn, packed with passengers during rush hour. But the NYPD's most recent crime data shows shooting citywide are actually down 17% as of March 10th, and shooting victims are down 20%. Any one of us could have been those victims. There's a lot to be done as far as keeping everyone safe. The motive for the initial assault that led to the shooting in Tompkins Square Park is unknown. I don't want my home to be somewhere I don't feel safe walking around in, but it's it's really sad. Those victims were transported to Bellevue Hospital and are in stable condition. That suspect remains at large. In the East Village, Elisa Reed, CBS 2 News.